Okay, so the topic for this time is uh, extremely deep, just like most other topics. Um, I love how most guys who teach, you know, success, self-development, they make videos and they're like, uh, you know, in their behind like a cool wallpaper background, maybe a Ferrari in the background. <laughs> I'm like walking, always, always walking. Uh, yeah, so I walk a lot. I love walking. Most of my business is done actually over the phone. So I just walk a lot. Um, keeps me very healthy. And, you know, I love to move. Um, anyway, so the topic today is uh, regarding your gut intuition and basically taking kind of like the journey of uh, self-development. Um, Kind of reaching deep within yourself to finding that place where you actually take massive action um, and follow your journey so uh, this video is basically intended for people who kind of have this gnawing in their belly like this this feeling like shit you no know, i can do more <laughs> i can do so much fucking more this this can't be the way life is like this this thing that I'm experiencing this this place I'm in this can't be life this this can't be like the end all be all of uh, life so um, well first of all the voice is real <laughs> um, don't try ignoring it because you know Worst case scenario, you're going to be miserable your whole life. And best case scenario, you're just going to be kind of average and have a shit life. Um, so once you do listen to that voice, um, you have basically a few options. Um, you can either admit that the voice is there, something's not working, something has to change. And then let that voice start making you take action uh, basically do things that are not normal um, most people will start weird things will start happening like you'll see people suddenly um, not really realizing where you're coming from because you seem to place less importance you know you seem to get less excited and less dramatic to be more precise about things that they find extremely dramatic <laughs> Uh, so that's the first part of it and then that kind of develops into what is called the journey and the journey is where you have this um, thing you've, you you're currently meant to do and you just go ahead and do it so the journey doesn't necessarily mean you need to be one specific thing it doesn't mean you have to be like a, an Olympic swimmer or you know the the richest man on earth it just means you have a journey that you need to take right now and it's part of your self-development and if you resist it you'll just kind of wither and die uh, which again it's a very simple law of nature it's not there's nothing personal about it there's nothing personal about the journey either it's, it's just a matter of growth and decay it's uh, a very simple natural process so once you kind of see where that voice is leading you and I really recommend you do that by process of uh, meditating there's too much noise in in our society today there's way too much noise where you're unable to stop and listen to that gnawing that feeling of something's not right in the belly like we constantly find ways to hide it you know either through Facebook uh, watching YouTube, friends, alcohol, complaining, feeling angry, you know, just finding external shit to feel bad about. It's just something's not fucking working, okay? Like, that's not the way life is supposed to look ideally, you know what I mean? Like, like don't look at life like, okay, yeah, that's life, that's just reality, that's how it is. Look at life like how it should be, okay? Fuck it. How should life be? I, I don't care how it is. I, how it should be. You know what? It, I should be rich. I should be successful. I should be traveling the world. I should have the right partner. I should have all the money I need. I'll sh I should enjoy my days. I should enjoy everything about my life. People should be positive. Fuck it. Like this, you know, my family should be happier. 
I shouldn't struggle with money, fuck it. So once you kind of accept that voice, which screams like should, 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 it should be like this, it should be like that, and you don't kind of silence it and go like, oh no, it's just, you know, that's just the way life is, you know, just accept it, you know, it's, it's just the way it is, man. Or, or even worse, like, don't change it. You know, you can't change it. You can't fight against the way things are. Uh, by the way, if you are if you like that part, I recommend reading The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand. Um, if you like the way I talked right now, I know it should be like this, could be like that. Like, this is the book for you. Like, this book will make you fucking revolt against the world. Um, so anyway, you listen to that voice. It tells you where to go. And then you're like, okay, I get the feeling, okay, I understand that my thing, maybe it's to go travel right now, maybe it's to work out, uh, maybe it's to start getting girls, maybe it's to start making more money, Wh- whatever it is, but there's the something your voice is like, you know, it might not be the end all be all, but it's like, you know, that's, it's like, it shows you where's the next step in your journey is, and the more you become successful, the more you follow along the journey, the more times you take it, you kind of get more precise about it you know you kind of learn to look at life a lot lot more um, in a focused way in an exact specific way um, so the voice kind of becomes a lot more uh, clear you understand what it says a lot lot more um, for me at the moment at least that's where my voice is leading me like that's I, I like to call it the next thing like my next thing which is basically the thing that's that matters more above all because that's what the voice is saying is um i'm living in israel so currently i'm making my money in the currency called shekels um but uh, it's about a quarter of a dollar that's pretty much it so um my current thing is getting to a point where i'm making seven hundred fifty thousand shekels a month which is roughly at $200,000 a month that's like my thing that's where I'm kind of going as fast as I can towards so once you know your thing um, what I like to do is um, create a measurement for that thing like I start breaking it down um, from the end back Uh, what that means is for example Um, My thing is money, so it's obviously quite easy to kind of break down numerically. So for me, uh, the way I set it up is 10,000 calls. Basically, I'm charging about $20,000 per client. Um, And what I did, I took my estimation. I said, okay, about one in 100 people would uh, pay me um, the 20K. And then I said, okay, let's take that number, let's multiply it by 10. So if I want to get to 200,000, it means I need 10 new clients paying me $20,000 a month, every single month, um, which roughly translates to 10,000 calls, at least in my estimation. Again, I take the number about, you know, 1% closing ratio, you know, one in a hundred. And then what I do, I basically multiply it by 10. And then also it's 10 customers. So it's by 10 by 10, which is 10,000. So that's what I like to call my journey of deservedness. So I don't focus on how well I'm doing the calls. I don't focus on the logistics, you know, where I'm making the calls, how I'm making the calls. All I'm focused on is the number because the way life works you go on the journey and then shit happens either in the journey directly you know meaning like um you know you learn something new something happens relating to business or even shit outside your life that has lessons for the journey like for example something good happens in your life something bad happens you you, it all adds up to the lessons of the journey because once you have a journey you have a very specific kind of focal view for everything. Everything gets anchored or, or you could say it gets um, relativity from the journey, which is the only thing that doesn't change. No matter what your, what your feelings say, what, what situation your life is, 
the journey is always there. It's like, okay, this is your next step and your next step doesn't change. Uh, you may get it, you know, you may kind of drown out the voices, but the journey itself will not change. Only uh, your attitude towards it. And of course, you can go uh, forward and more and more forward. Uh, by the way, you can't go back in the journey. That's the coolest thing. You can't go back no matter how much how bad life gets, no matter what happens, you can't go back in the journey. Where you came in terms of your identity and whatever it is you, you went through on the journey, you cannot go back because it's like peeling layers of an onion. So um, again, for me, it's the 10,000 calls. So the way I look at it, I don't look at it like, okay, it's 10,000 calls. It's basically from here, straight line to, to here. Just one, two, three, four, five, thousand, two thousand, three thousand, blah, blah, 10,000. I don't look at it like this and I don't care if I get the 10 clients on the first 10 calls or the last 10 calls or whatever in between because again this is the process of deservedness so right now I don't deserve 10 clients every month of $10,000 of $20,000 each I don't deserve it why because I'm not there yet <laughs> you deserve wherever you are whatever you achieve you deserve so obviously I, I'm setting a goal that's roughly 10 times higher than what I'm currently at so it, it, I'm gonna need to change like, like you never ask yourself like is this goal possible ask yourself what do I need to do to deserve it you know let's say I want to be a billionaire okay don't ask yourself if it's possible that's retarded that's ridiculous ask yourself what do I need to do to deserve being a billionaire what's what is the billionaire journey like now the bigger the goal the more I call it the pain gap you have where you are where you want to be and then you have the gap between the two and that's the pain gap that's shit you have to go through on the journey where the the further the goal and the faster you're going towards it the more shit you have to peel faster you have to peel off excuses you have to peel off uh, insecurities uh, you have to peel off um, delusions um, you have to get more momentum more willpower um, your your map of the world your consciousness needs to be more precise so it's not any more different uh, or harder to be a billionaire than it is to be a millionaire uh, than it is to be worth you know making ten thousand dollars a month than it is to make a thousand dollars a month each presents its own uh, easy parts and hard parts and they're all equally the same because once you're there that's where you're at that's what you deserve so you know the billionaire you know he has shit that you know one wrong move he, he, he could destroy you know a whole uh, you know his entire uh, organization or you know thousands of lives depend on him shit like that but you know on the other hand he's a billionaire so he has many perks to that state um, take the exact opposite take somebody who's making only a thousand dollars a month well that person um, you know the perks are he has less responsibility less shit going on less uh, you know less bad things happen to him but uh, and when bad things happen they're not as worse as obviously a billionaire who might be go to jail for something or you know lose uh, like half a million dollars half a billion dollars in like a day for some reason you know this shit happens at every level but the on the other side somebody who's making only a thousand dollars a month he the the bad shit he experiences kind of balances it where he's facing problems like not having enough money not being able to pay rent so everybody's facing shit and everybody gets uh, a certain good thing from where they're at you know there's always a balance there has to be a balance so um, so again there's a pay there's the pain gap so for me the pain gap is represented by the 10,000 calls that I decide I need to achieve uh, obviously the first one was the hardest the first one is it's like uh, you know it's it's, it, it, it's like what the fuck but then you take the first one and like boom your your brain opens up completely so again on the journey to the 10,000 calls I don't look at it like okay it's a straight line I look at it like it's a journey so you know on the 500th call something happens and then I change my strategy 
And then on the 2000th call, I, I realized something about myself. I gained more willpower. And then on the 5,000th 5, call, <laughs> Uh, something completely different happens and suddenly you know I meet a person maybe a huge CEO that gives me access to all these multimillionaires that are able to afford $20,000 coaching you know so so the process the journey is the process of deservedness again that's why I don't focus on how it happens you know what results I got you know I do focus it to some extent obviously that's just natural but I focus more on the numbers. Just let's get through to 10,000 as fast as possible, which requires as much action as I can possibly take in the shortest amount of time possible. And the biggest benefit of the journey, every time you take the journey, is that you reach, you know, there's obviously the material benefits. You know, there's a huge difference between making $20,000 a month to making $200,000 a month. Huge difference. But you know, mo again, monetary things aside, you know, it's, it's, it's just money, you know, it's just lifestyle. It's obviously, there's many benefits, but, but you know, how much different is it to uh, drive a Ferrari than it is to drive, you know, a Toyota? You know, both have challenges, you know, both you're gonna be pissed on, you're gonna be happy. Really, that's not the end-all be-all. Obviously, it's happy. It's, it's fun. It's nice to have that freedom, but that's not the end-all be-all. So where this gets to, basically, is what happens? What's the biggest, biggest, biggest reward you get from the journey is the higher state of consciousness. To be where you want to be, you have to think a lot more clearer. You have to be a lot more focused, a lot more present a lot more in conjunction with reality you know because you'll see that the more successful somebody is the less delusions he usually has about reality he's more grounded in how reality actually works how cause and effect actually works rather than ideas up in his own head rather than treating something like his feelings too seriously the more successful somebody is the more he's focused on his vision and goal uh, and what he should do or needs to do rather than how he feels. Now, the, m the lower you go on the success spectrum, uh, the more you see shit like uh, incest, violence, uh, drug use, um, people being pissed off for no reason. Uh, and it probably happened to you, by the way, when you're in a low consciousness mode. Obviously, you oscillate, but y it changes. But Again, there's a certain level of consciousness that you reach and it grows whenever you take the journey. So my message to you here is that if you do have that gnawing, that feeling in your stomach that things are not the way they should be, something they should be different, you know, and, not, and if you treat that feeling with respect, and the way you treat it with respect is, again, shut the fuck up, turn off the TV, turn off Facebook, delete it, for God's sake. Go sit in a room and don't fucking do anything. And feel your body and you'll see it's there. That feeling in your stomach, like, oh shit, it is there. You know, like, how are you feeling right now? Like, even right now, you're probably feeling it. Like, that feeling in your stomach where it's like, ah, you know, something's not right. <laughs> the more you listen to it, the stronger it gets. The stronger it gets, the more you know where you need to go. You know, it's like, it's like you're, you know, the, the, there's this, the story of the burning, you know, the frog in the heating pot where if you put a frog in boiling water, um, and, it will jump off but if you put it in regular water it will actually stay until the water is you know you gradually hit it up until the wa water is fully boiling and then it will simply die without resisting um, by the way this story is false <laughs> it's not really true but you know it's kind of a cool story to tell so that's kind of what happens to you so you know on the reverse so either you you let the voice kind of drown out until you completely lose it you know you, you get so far off that you can only hope for a disaster, as I like to say, uh, to shake you off and remind you that, you know, the shit, like, life is short. 
um, but preferably just stop fighting it you know you don't need to find that voice you don't need to fight to find it you don't need to to work for it it's there <laughs> just stop doing shit just just stop whatever it is you're fucking doing i know it looks important but stop right now go in a fucking room sit and listen to the fucking voice and you'll feel that something is off and again once you do that it will guide you okay so let it guide you it's it's taking you to a better place let that shit guide you <laughs> and again once you do that you'll start the journey that that's pretty much the only thing that counts in life any other thing is arbitrary and once you take the journey figure out what is your path don't go blindly at that shit like really sit down and listen to what the voice is saying listen to it write it down and go for it and I like to put a number on it because it's usually about taking certain amounts of actions sometimes it's it's maybe just once it's maybe just you know get the fuck out of your city it's a bad city or you know leave your parents home or leave the fucking continent or leave your job you know shit like that but other times it's more complicated it's 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 more it's not just leave or change this shit or you know leave your husband or wife or something it's it's actually deeper um, and it's kind of like a direction you know do this do that so write it down stare at it every day let that feeling build up and realize it's not going anywhere so realize it's inevitable you're gonna have to either live with it or say fuck it you know I might as well do it because if I don't do it I feel bad like like li literally that's for me motivation I have negative motivation I do what I do because if I don't I'm just gonna feel bad you know and people are like oh no like you should accept yourself more and I'm like what the fuck like who do you know that accepts himself fully and that is really really happy you know may maybe that's your journey your journey may be like okay I need to accept myself and that's the journey but for most of us it's like shit no, fuck no like what the fuck <laughs> accepting no like accept the voice no I hate the voice I mean I there's no point in fighting it but I'm not gonna I, I know I need to work with it so if I want it to go away I need to listen to it I need to be like okay voice I'm just gonna do whatever you tell me to do and then you just follow it and amazing shit happens you know your life starts growing you know you start expanding you start learning more you start becoming more yourself so trust me go go after the journey it's worth it um, I don't care if you're already on the journey if you think you're done which is the worst if you think you're done you're as far off from done as possible or if you haven't even started and just listen to the voice you know you can always go more you can always be more intense you can always go more extreme after the voice and one last thing that kind of popped in my head right now some people might think of this as like being a workaholic you know, or being stressed constantly. When you see somebody that just works so fucking hard that he burns himself out, you know, and I don't believe in burnout, but, but, but you know what I mean. Like somebody who says, you know, just fucks up his health, fucks up his relationships, fucks up his emotions, just works, you know, 18 hours a day and it, it, nothing is, you know, everything is fucking up for him that's not following the voice like if that person would really sit still for a moment his voice would be like dude chill the fuck out like that's your next step in the growth it's chill okay so don't worry about that shit <laughs> definitely not um the voice is on your side the voice is basically saying like dude you were born with an extremely unique gift you can give to the world some sort of vision of how shit should be 
Now you can either drown that shit out and basically live in this world that is man-made by the way. Everybody, everything you see around you was made by people. You can either accept that shit as it is and kind of, you know, decay out of existence. You know, maybe find some solitude and a nice house and beautiful kids. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like fuck you will. Um, or you can listen to the voice. And I'm not saying you're not going to find happiness in your children. Your children might be your journey when, if it's too late. You know, maybe you know, now you're like, okay, so my job is to be the best parent ever. You know, because I've, I've personally been on many journeys. You know, um, uh, the journey of uh, fitness and then the journey of, uh, you know, getting as many girls as possible. And then the journey of um, my relationship or it's, my whole purpose was to make that relationship work no matter what and accept my girlfriend how she is and and it taught me about love and then my journey was business you know and it still is business um you know who knows what's next maybe it will continue to be business maybe it will change i don't care you know because you're taken care of you know if, if you go on the journey everything else is taken care of um yeah that's pretty much it so don't fucking wait Listen to that voice. Listen to what it tells you. Let it guide you. Stop fucking drowning that shit out. You know, it's so simple. Just fucking feel what your stomach feels. You know, just what goes in your belly. You know, how do you feel? And if you don't feel good, you don't feel good. <laughs> don't try denying it. Start asking why. And don't ask like, hey, why am I feeling good? And think about it like, just ask that and fucking sit down and listen to you, what the voice is saying. I know it's a feeling, but but it's not just a feeling. It's a feeling that kind of points you somewhere. You know, it's like this game of hot and cold where it's like closer, closer, further, further. So you're going to ask, you know, why the fuck am I feeling bad? And then you're going to focus on the feeling. And the more you focus on it, the more clear it gets. And then it's like a game of hot and cold where it's like your mind just cycles through shit. And then it's like, maybe it's this. No, maybe, yeah. Oh, okay, you're getting a little warmer, maybe, maybe. Oh yeah, I hate my fucking wife. I need to let go of her. Now you have a choice. Listen to the voice or drown it out again, you know? I hope you listen to it. I hope you go on the journey. You'll thank me later. So till next time and hopefully uh, very soon, um, I'll start getting, maybe I'll get like a really professional recording equipment, actually make it a bit more um, professional, uh, but I hope you're enjoying it either way. Have a good one, listen to the voice, and be unhappy, okay? Be unhappy, it's good, it's what leads to change. See you later.